सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स द ऑडियो बुक गणित प्रकाश टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास सिक्स चैप्टर नंबर थ्री नंबर प्ले नंबर्स आर यूज इन डिफरेंट कॉन्टेक्स्ट एंड इन मेनी डिफरेंट वेज टू ऑर्गेनाइज आर लाइफ वी हैव यूज नंबर्स टू काउंट एंड हैव अप्लाइड द बेसिक ऑपरेशन ऑफ एडिशन सब्ट्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लीकेशन and division on them to solve problems related to our daily lives in this chapter we will continue this journey by playing with numbers numbers around us noticing patterns and learning to use numbers and operations in new ways think about various situations where we use numbers list five different situations in which numbers are used what your classmates have listed share and discuss 3.1 numbers can tell us things what are these numbers telling us some children in a park are standing in a line each one says a number you can find a picture of eight children standing here what do you think these numbers mean The children now rearrange themselves and again each one says a number based on the arrangement. Page number 56. Did you figure out what these numbers represent? Hint. Could their heights be playing a role? A child says 1. If there is only one taller child standing next to them, a child says 2. If both the children standing next to them are taller a child says zero if neither of the children standing next to them are taller that is each person says the number of taller neighbors they have try answering the questions given here and share your reasoning question number 1 can the children rearrange themselves so that the children standing at the end say to question number 2 can we arrange the children in a line so that all would say only zeros question number 3 can two children standing next to each other say the same number question number 4 there are five children in a group all of different heights can they stand such that four of them say one and the last one says zero why or why not question number 5 for this group of 5 children is the sequence 1,1,1,1,1 possible question number 6 is the sequence 0,1,2,1,0 possible why or why not question number 7 How would you rearrange the five children so that the maximum number of children say two? Page number fifty-seven, three point two super cells. Observe the numbers written in the table given here. Why are some numbers coloured? Discuss. We have two columns here. In the first column, we have numbers forty-three, seventy-nine. Seventy-five, sixty-three, ten, twenty-nine, twenty-eight, and thirty-four. Out of these, seventy-nine, twenty-nine, and thirty-four are coloured. In the second column, we have numbers two hundred, five hundred and seventy-seven, six hundred and twenty-six, three hundred and forty-five, seven hundred and ninety, six hundred and ninety-four, one hundred and nine. And one hundred and ninety-eight. Out of these, six hundred and twenty-six, seven hundred and ninety, and one hundred and ninety-eight are coloured. A cell is coloured if the number in it is larger than its adjacent cells. The number six hundred and twenty-six is coloured as it is larger than five hundred and seventy-seven and three hundred and forty-five, whereas Two hundred is not coloured as it is smaller than 
577 the number 198 is colored as it has only one adjacent cell with 109 in it and 198 is larger than 109 figure it out question number 1 color or mark the super cells in the table given here we have a table with numbers 6,830, and 52. Question number 2. Fill in the table given here with only four digit numbers such that the super cells are exactly the colored cells. Here we have a column in which we have numbers 5346 and there is a blank colored column followed by a blank column without a color. Again comes a number 1258 which is colored followed by three uncolored boxes then comes 9635 followed by a colored box. Question number three. Fill in the table such that we get as many supercells as possible. Use numbers between 100 and 1000 without repetitions. Here we are given blank boxes for the numbers to be written. Question number four. Out of the nine numbers, how many supercells are there in the table given here? Dash. Question number five. Find out how many supercells are possible for different numbers of cells. Do you notice any pattern? What is the method to fill a given table to get the maximum number of supercells? Explore and share your strategy. Page number 58. Question number 6. Can you fill a supercell table without repeating numbers such that there are no supercells? Why or why not? Question number 7. Will the cell having the largest number in a table always be a supercell? Can the cell having the smallest number in a table be a supercell? Why or why not? Question number 8. Fill a table such that the cell having the second largest number is not a supercell. Question number 9. Fill a table such that the cell having the second largest number is not a supercell but the second smallest number is a supercell. Is it possible? Question number 10. Make other variations of this puzzle and challenge your classmates. Let's do the supercells activity with more rows. Here, the neighboring cells are those that are immediately to the left, right, top and bottom. The rule remains the same. A cell becomes a supercell if the number in it is greater than all the numbers in its neighboring cells. In table 1, 8632 is greater than all its neighbors 4580, 8280, 4795 and 1944. You can find a picture of a box having four rows and four columns which have numbers 2430, 7500, 7350, 9870. Out of these 7500 and 9870 are colored. In the second row 3115, 4795, 
9,124, 9,230. In these, none of the numbers are coloured. Third row, 4,580, 8,632, 8,280, 3,446. Fourth column, we have 5,785, 1,944, 5,805, 6,034. In this, the last number 6,034 is coloured. Complete table 2 with 5 digit numbers whose digits are 1, 0, 6, 3 and 9 in some order. Only a coloured cell should have a number greater than all its neighbours. The biggest number in the table is dash. You can find table number 2 here which has 4 rows and 4 columns. The first block is coloured. In the second block we have number 96301. Then 36,109 and the next block is colored. In the second row, we have a blank box and then 13,609. Then we have a colored box which has number 60,319 followed by another box 19,306. In the third row, we have two blocks which are not coloured and the third number is 60,193 followed by a blank block. In the fourth row, we have first block which is not coloured. Then we have a coloured block with number 10,963 followed by a blank block and we have colored block after that. Page number 59. The smallest even number in the table is dash. The smallest number greater than 50,000 in the table is dash. Once you have filled the table given here, put commas appropriately after the thousands digit. 3.3 Patterns of Numbers on the Number Line We are quite familiar with number lines now. Let's find if we can place some numbers in their appropriate positions on the number line. Here are the numbers. 2180, 2754, 1500, 3600, 9950, 9590, 1050, 3050, 5030, 5300 and 8400. You can find a picture of a number line with markings from 1000 to 10,000. On the number line, two numbers are marked between 2000 and 3000. The numbers are 2180 and 2754. Figure it out. Identify the numbers marked on the four different number lines given here and label the remaining positions. We have part A, B, C and D. On In the first number line A, we have two numbers marked here 2010 and 2020. In the second number line B, we have two numbers marked as 9,996 and 9,997. 
in the third number line C, we have three numbers marked as 15,077, 15,078 and 15,083. In the fourth number line D, we have two numbers marked as 86,705, 87,705. Put a circle around the smallest number and a box around the largest number in each of the sequences here. Page number 60. 3.4 Playing with Digits We start writing numbers from 1, 2, 3 and so on. There are 9 one-digit numbers. Find out how many numbers have two digits, three digits, four digits and five digits. You can find here a picture which has five columns and two rows. In the first column, we have in the first row from one to nine. In the first row, we have one digit numbers from one to nine. In the second row, we have number 9. In the second column, we have two digit numbers and in the second row, there is a blank. In the third column, we have three digit numbers and the row is blank. In the fourth column, we have four digit numbers again with a blank in the second row and five digit numbers in the fifth column with a blank in the row for the number to be written. Digit sums of numbers. Komal observes that when she adds up digits of certain numbers, the sum is the same. For example, adding the digits of the number 68 will be same as adding the digits of 176 or 545. We have a picture on the right side of the page. 6 plus 8 is equal to 14. 1 plus 7 plus 6 is equal to 14. 5 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 14. Figure it out. Question number 1. Digit sum 14. Part A. Write other numbers whose digits add up to 14. Part B. What is the smallest number whose digit sum is 14? Part C. What is the largest 5 digit number whose digit sum is 14? Part D. How big a number can you form having the digit sum of 14? Can you make an even bigger number? Question number 2. Find out the digit sums of all the numbers from 40 to 70. Share your observations with the class. Question number 3. Calculate the digit sums of three digit numbers whose digits are consecutive. For example, 345. Do you find a pattern? Will this pattern continue? Page number 61. Digit detectives. After writing numbers from 1 to 100, Dinesh wondered how many times he would have written the digit 7. Among the numbers 1 to 100, how many times will the digit 7 occur? Among the numbers 1 to 1000, how many times will the digit 7 occur? Here you can find a picture of a box with some numbers having 7 as digits. The numbers are 237, 57, 877, 7041, 676, 7 and 1799. 3.5 Pretty Palindromic Patterns 
What pattern do you find in these numbers? 66, 848, 575, 797, 1111. These numbers read the same from left to right and from right to left. Try and find such numbers are called palindromes or palindromic numbers. All palindromes using 1, 2, 3. The numbers 121, 313, 222 are some examples of palindromes. Using the digits 1, 2, 3. Write all possible three digit palindromes using these digits. Reverse and add palindromes. Here we have some addition of numbers. Try to figure out what is happening. Steps to follow Start with a two digit number, add this number to its reverse. Stop if you get a palindrome or else repeat the steps of reversing the digits and adding. Try the same procedure for some other numbers and perform the same steps. Stop if you get a palindrome. On the right side of the page you find some additions of numbers as 34 plus 43 is equal to 77. 29 plus 92 is equal to 121. 48 plus 84 is equal to 132 plus 231 is equal to 363. 76 plus 67 is equal to 143 plus 341 is equal to 484. Page number 62. There are numbers for which you have to repeat this a large number of times. Are there numbers for which you do not reach a palindrome at all? Explore. Will reversing and adding numbers repeatedly, starting with a two-digit number, always give a palindrome? Explore and find out. Puzzle time. You can find here blank boxes for writing the number in figures and words. We have first box with 10,000, second box for 1,000, third for 100, fourth for 10 and fifth one for units place. We have another block below for the number to be written in words. I am a five digit palindrome. I am an odd number. My tens digit is double of my units digits. My hundreds digit is double of my tens digit. Who am I? Dash 3.6 the magic number of Kapraker. Dr. Kapraker was a mathematics teacher in a government school in Devlali, Maharashtra. He liked playing with numbers very much and found many beautiful patterns in numbers that were previously unknown. In 1949, he discovered a fascinating and magical phenomenon when playing with four-digit numbers. You find the answer to the explore activity mentioned on this page. The answer is yes. For three digit numbers, the answer is unknown. It is suspected that starting with 196 never yields a palindrome. On the right side of the page, we have picture of D.R. Kapraker who was a famous mathematics teacher. 
Page number 63. Follow these steps and experience the magic for yourselves. Pick any four digit number having at least two different digits. Say 6382. You can find a flow chart with sequence of steps for the activity. The first step is shown in a block as take a four digit number. We have an arrow down. In the second block, we have make the largest number from these digits. Call it A. Again, we have an arrow downwards. In the third block, we have make the smallest number from these digits. Call it B. With the arrow downward, we have the fourth block showing subtract B from A. Call it C. C is equal to A minus B. From C, we have an arrow pointing for the second block which shows use digits of C. What happens if you continue doing this? Take A as 8632, B as 2368 and C is equal to 8632 minus 2368 that is equal to 6264. A is equal to 6642, B is equal to 2466, C is equal to 6642 minus 2466 that is equal to 4176. Again take this as A is equal to 7641, B is equal to 1467. So, C will be equal to 7641 minus 1467 that is equal to 6174. On the similar lines, you can try on your own taking A as a number, B as a reverse number and C you will get on subtracting these numbers. Explore. Take different four digit numbers and try carrying out these steps. Find out what happens. Check with your friends what they got. You will always reach the magic number 6174. The number 6174 is now called the Capraker constant. Carry out these same steps with a few three digit numbers. What number will start repeating? Page number 64. 3.7 Clock and Calendar Numbers On the usual 12 hour clock, there are timings with different patterns. For example, 4 o'clock 44 minutes, 10 o'clock 10 minutes, 12 o'clock 21 minutes. Try and find out all possible times on a 12 hour clock of each of these types. There is a picture on the right side of the page for clock and calendar numbers with numbers 16, 02 and 2016. Manish has his birthday on 28th December 2012 where the digits 2, comma 0, comma 1 and 2 repeat in that order. Find some other dates of this form from the past. His sister Meghna has her birthday on 11 February 2011 where the digits read the same from left to right and from right to left. Find all possible dates of this form from the past. G1 was observed at this year's calendar. He started wondering, why should we change the calendar every year? Can we not reuse a calendar? 
What do you think? You might have noticed that last year's calendar was different from this year's. Also, next year's calendar will also be different from the previous years. But will any year's calendar repeat again after some years? Will all dates and days in a year match exactly with that of another year? Figure it out. Question number one. Pratibha uses the digits 4, 7, 3 and 2 and makes the smallest and largest four digit numbers with them as 2347 and 7432. The difference between these two numbers is 7432 minus 2347 is equal to 5085. The sum of these two numbers is 9779. Choose four digits to make. Part A. The difference between the largest and smallest numbers greater than 5085. Page number 65. Part B. The difference between the largest and smallest numbers less than 5085. Part C. The sum of the largest and smallest numbers greater than 9779. Part D. The sum of the largest and smallest numbers less than 9779. Question number 2. What is the sum of the smallest and largest five digit palindrome? What is their difference? Question number 3. The time now is 10 o'clock and 1 minute. How many minutes until the clock displays the next palindromic time? What about the one after that? Question number 4. How many rounds does the number 5683 take? To reach the Capraca constant, 3.8 mental math. Explore the figure given here. What can you say about the numbers and the lines drawn? We have 4 blocks in the first column, 5 blocks in the second column and again 4 blocks in the third column. The numbers displayed in the first column are 38,800, 28,000, 61,600, 31,000. In the second column where we have 5 rows, the numbers displayed are 25,000, 400, 13,000, 1,500 and 60,000. In the third column, we have 4 rows with numbers 3,400, 63,000, 19,500, 20,900. We have some arrows pointing from 25,000 to 38,800, 400 to 38,800, two times, and then 13,000 pointing to 38,800. Likewise, towards the right, we have three arrows, one pointing from 400 to 3400 and two arrows from 1500 pointing to 3400. Numbers in the middle column are added in different ways to get the numbers on the sides within brackets 1500 plus 1500 plus 400 is equal to 3400. The numbers in the middle can be used as many times as needed to get the desired sum. Draw arrows from the middle to the numbers on the sides to obtain the desired sums. Two examples are given. 
it is simpler to do it mentally. 38,800 is equal to 25,000 plus 400 into 2 plus 13,000. 3,400 is equal to 1,500 plus 1,500 plus 400. Page number 66. Can we make 1,000 using the numbers in the middle? Why not? What about 14,000, 15,000 and 16,000? Yes, it is possible. Explore how. What thousands cannot be made? Adding and subtracting. Here, using the numbers in the boxes, we are allowed to use both addition and subtraction to get the required number. An example is given here. We have six blocks, two in each row. In the first row, we have numbers 40,000 and 7,000. In the second row, we have numbers 300 and 1,500. In the third row, we have numbers 12,000 and 800. We can find that 39,000. 1800 is equal to 40,000 minus 800 plus 300 plus 300. Likewise, you can try to write 45,000 is equal to dash, 5,900 is equal to dash, 17,500 is equal to dash, 21,400 is equal to dash. Digits and operations. An example of adding two five digit numbers to get another five digit number is 12,350 plus 24,545 is equal to 36,895. An example of subtracting two five digit numbers to get another five digit number is 48,952 minus 24,547 is equal to 24,405. Figure it out. Question number 1. Write an example for each of the given scenarios whenever possible. There are 10 boxes. The first box has 5 digit plus 5 digit to give a 5 digit sum more than 90,250. The second block has 5 digit plus 3 digit to give a 6 digit sum. The third box has 4 digit plus 4 digit to give a 6 digit sum. The fourth box has 5 digit plus 5 digit to give a 6 digit sum. The fifth box has 5 digit plus 5 digit to give 18,500. In the second row, we have 5 digit minus 5 digit to give a difference less than 56,503. Next box has 5 digit minus 3 digit to give a 4 digit difference. The next box has 5 digit minus 4 digit to give a 4 digit difference. The next box 5 digit minus 5 digit to give a 3 digit difference. And the last box has 5 digit minus 5 digit to give 91,500. Page number 67. Could you find examples for all the cases? If not, think and discuss what could be the reason. Make other such questions and challenge your classmates. Question number 2. Always, sometimes, never are some statements. Think, explore and find out if each of the statement is always true only sometimes true or never true. 
Why do you think so? Write your reasoning and discuss this with the class. Part A. Five-digit number plus five-digit number gives a five-digit number. Part B. Four-digit number plus two-digit number gives a four-digit number. Part C. Four-digit number plus two-digit number gives a six-digit number. Part D. Five-digit number minus five-digit number gives a five-digit number. Part E. Five-digit number minus two-digit number gives a three-digit number. Three point nine. Playing with number patterns. Here are some numbers arranged in some patterns. Find out the sum of the numbers in each of the given figures. Should we add them one by one, or can we use a quicker way? Share and discuss in class the different methods each one of you used to solve these questions. In part A, we have some boxes showing us numbers forty, 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 forty in the first row, and fifty. Fifty, 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 and fifty in the second row. Third row has forty, 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 and fourth row has fifty, 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 and fifty, and the last fifth row again has forty, 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 and forty. In part B. We have a grid in two colors, which is eight by eight. The green color has single dot pattern, and the other blue color has five dots pattern in them. Page number sixty-eight, part C. Here you can find a picture which has eight rows and. Four columns with numbers thirty-two and four columns and four rows with number sixty-four. Part D has grid pattern with five columns and seven rows in two different colors. Purple and maroon. In these, we have four dots and three dots alternately. Part E has a hexagonal pattern with some numbers fifteen, twenty-five, and thirty-five. Part F has concentric circles with numbers. One hundred and twenty-five in the outermost circle, two hundred and fifty in the inner circle, and the innermost circle has thousand at the center, and four circles with numbers five hundred, three point one zero, an unsolved mystery, the collage conjecture. You can find. Sequences given here. The same rule is applied in all the sequences. Part A, twelve, comma six, comma three, comma ten, comma five, comma sixteen, comma eight, comma four, comma two, comma one. Part B, seventeen, comma fifty two, comma twenty six, comma thirteen, comma forty. Comma twenty, comma ten, comma five, comma sixteen, comma eight, comma four, comma two, comma one. Part C, twenty one, comma sixty four, comma thirty two, comma sixteen, comma eight, comma four, comma two, comma one. Part D, twenty two, comma eleven, comma thirty four, comma seventeen. Comma fifty two, comma twenty six, comma thirteen, 
comma 40, comma 20, comma 10, comma 5, comma 16, comma 8, comma 4, comma 2, comma 1. Do you observe how these sequences were formed? Page number 69. The rule is, one starts with any number. If the number is even, take half of it. If the number is odd, multiply it by 3 and add 1. Repeat. Notice that all four sequences here eventually reach the number 1. In 1937, the German mathematician Lothar Kollatz conjectured that the sequence will always reach 1 regardless of the whole number you start with. Even today, despite many mathematicians working on it, it remains an unsolved problem as to whether Collard's conjecture is true. Collard's conjecture is one of the most famous unsolved problems in mathematics. Make some more Collard's sequences like those here, starting with your favorite whole numbers. Do you always reach 1? Do you believe the conjecture of Collard's that all such sequences will eventually reach 1? Why or why not? 3.11 Simple Estimation At times, we may not know or need an exact count of things and an estimate is sufficient for the purpose at hand. For example, your school headmaster might know the exact number of students enrolled in your school, but you may only know an estimated count. How many students are there in your school? About 150? 400? 1000? Paramita's class section has 32 children. The other two sections of her class have 29 and 35 children. So, she estimated the number of children in her class to be about 100. Along with class 6, her school also has classes 7 to 10 and each class has 3 sections each. She assumed a similar number in each class and estimated the number of students in her school to be around 500. Figure it out. We shall do some simple estimates. It is a fun exercise and you may find it amusing to know the various numbers around us. Remember, we are not interested in the exact numbers for the display questions. Share your methods of estimation with the class. Page number 72. First one. Steps you would take to walk. Part A. From the place you are sitting to the classroom door. Part B. Across the school ground from start to end. Part C. From your classroom door to the school gate. Part D. From your school to your home. Question number 2. Number of times you blink your eyes or number of breaths you take. Part A. In a minute. Part B. In an hour. Part C. In a day. Question number 3. Name some objects around you that are Part A. A few thousand in number. Part B. More than 10,000 in number. Estimate the answer. Try to guess within 30 seconds. Check your guess with your friends. Question number 1. Number of words in your maths textbook. Part A. More than 5,000. Part B. Less than 5,000. Question number 2. Number of students in your school who travel to school by bus. Part A. More than 200. 
पार्ट बी लेस दैन टू हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री रोशन वॉन्ट्स टू बाई मिल्क एंड थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रूट टू मेक फ्रूट कस्टर्ड फॉर फाइव पीपल ही एस्टिमेट्स द कॉस्ट टू बी हंड्रेड रुपीज डू यू एग्री विथ हिम वाई और वाई नॉट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर एस्टिमेट द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन गांधी नगर इन गुजरात टू कोहिमा इन नागालैंड हिंट प्रोवाइडेड टू यू इज एक्सप्लोर द मैप ऑफ इंडिया टू लोकेट दिस सिटीज पेज नंबर सेवेंटी वन क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव शीतल इज इन ग्रेट सिक्स एंड सेज शी हैज स्पेंट अराउंड थर्टीन थाउजेंड आवर्स इन स्कूल टिल डेट डू यू एग्री विथ हर Why or why not? Question number six. Earlier, people used to walk long distances as they had no other means of transport. Suppose you walk at your normal pace. Approximately, how long would it take you to go from part A, your current location? to one of your favorite places nearby part b your current location to any neighboring state's capital city part c the southernmost point in india to the northernmost point in india question number 7 make some estimation questions and challenge your classmates 3.12 games and winning strategies Numbers can also be used to play games and develop winning strategies. Here is a famous game called Twenty One. Play it with a classmate. Then try it at home with your family. Rules for game number one: The first player says one, comma two or three. Then the two players. take turns adding 1 comma 2 or 3 to the previous number said the first player to reach 21 wins play this game several times with your classmate are you starting to see the winning strategy which player can always win if they play correctly what is the pattern of numbers that the winning player should see There are many variations of this game. Here is another common variation. Rules for game number 2. The first player says a number between 1 and 10. Then the two players take turns adding a number between 1 and 10 to the previous number said. The first player to reach 99 wins. Play this game Several times with your classmate. If you can figure out the corresponding winning strategy in this case, which player can always win? Page number seventy-two. What is the pattern of numbers that the winning player should say this time? Make your own variations of this game. Decide how much one can add to each turn. and what number is the winning number then play your game several times and figure out the winning strategy and which player can always win figure it out question number 1 there is only one supercell within brackets number greater than all its neighbors in this grid if you exchange two digits of one of the numbers there will be four supercells figure out which digits to swap on the right side of the page you find 3 by 3 column in which we have numbers as 16200 39344 29765 five. The second row has numbers twenty three thousand six hundred and nine, 
In this grid, we have the center number colored that is 62,871. Question number 2. How many rounds does your year of birth take to reach the Capricor constant? Question number 3. We are the group of 5 digit numbers between 35,000 and 75,000 such that all of our digits are odd. Who is the largest number in our group? Who is the smallest number in our group? Who among us is the closest to 50,000? Question number 4. Estimate the number of holidays you get in a year including weekends, festivals and vacation. Then try to get an exact number and how close your estimate is? Question number 5. Estimate the number of liters a mug, comma, a bucket and an overhead tank can hold. Question number 6. Write one five-digit number and two three-digit numbers such that their sum is 18,670. Question number 7. Choose a number between 210 and 390. Create a number pattern similar to those you found in section 3.9 that will sum up to this number. Page number 73. Question number 8. Recall the sequence of powers of 2 from chapter 1, table 1. Why is the collage conjecture Correct for all the starting numbers in the sequence. Question number 9. Check if the collage conjecture holds for the starting number 100. Question number 10. Starting with 0. Players alternate adding numbers between 1 and 3. The first person to reach 22 wins. What is the winning strategy now? Summary. First point, numbers can be used for many different purposes including to convey information, make and discover patterns, estimate magnitudes, pose and solve puzzles and play and win games. Second point, thinking about and formulating set procedures to use numbers for these purposes is a useful skill and capacity called computational thinking. Point number three, many problems about numbers can be very easy to pose but very difficult to solve. Indeed, numerous such problems are still unsolved. For example, Collard's Conjecture. Chapter number three ends here. Ganit Prakash you were just listening to this audiobook, Textbook of Mathematics for Grade 6. Narration, Swarnlata. Academic Coordinator, Dr. Prakash Vadigar. Technical Coordination, Bati Lang Lingdo. Sound Recordist, Virendra Rawat. Assistance in Production, Surendra Kumar. Directed and Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.